I should describe myself. I'm a sensitive voodoo man. What am I looking for? Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't need to put out a personal ad. Why did I let my brother talk me into moving here? This town needs saving, he said. Restless spirits, he said. Oh, well, I can't blame them. With all the damn tourists here, I feel pretty restless myself. This town's got all the charm of a burning outhouse. Ah, just my luck. I better poke around for something to help me put this fire out. There's got to be something in my office I can use to douse this overblown candle. It's a mask representing Baron Sabdi, a voodoo demigod. He's the lord of the underworld and one of the most powerful Loa. I like to keep him close. Find it comforting somehow. It's a mask representing Papa Legba, a voodoo demigod. He's one of the most powerful Loa and arbiter between humanity and the spirit realm. There's a hidden switch behind the mask. My seltzer bottle. That fire's about to have a toe tag and a ticket to the big adios. That's better. Voodoo detective speaking, how may I help you? Yes, that's my real name. No, I don't detect voodoo. I practice voodoo and use hoodoo to detect. It's right on the sign. No problem. Take care. If you're from the fire brigade, you're a little late. Are you Voodoo Detective? That's my name, unless they changed it while I wasn't looking. What's this about, Miss...? If you don't mind, I'd like to save the introductions for later, Mr. Detective. I have a rather strange case that may be well suited to a man of your talents. That is, if you do do Voodoo. You do do voodoo, don't you? You don't do voodoo, ma'am. Why don't you come in and sit down and show some respect? Now, suppose you tell me about it from the very beginning. I need your help, detective. I need you to... Find out who I am. Oh, come on. I, I swear this never happens. <clears throat> what do you mean, find out who I am? If you're looking for a shrink, that's not really the kind of soul-searching I do. I mean, I've lost my memory. You may not understand, but it's rather precious to me, and I'd like it recovered. You lost your memory, huh? Did you check the couch cushions? Is this some kind of joke to you? Take it easy, lady. You haven't given me much to work with. Anything you do remember? 
What are you doing? Just a little examination. Oh, okay. Um, this is going to sound strange. I don't know if you'll believe me. It doesn't matter what I believe. You go on with your story. Well, the very first thing I remember was standing at a crossroads. I'm not sure where, but it felt somehow both familiar and foreign at the same time. Like the memory of a dream. There was an old man there. He spoke to me. I believe this belongs to you. I was confused. I couldn't remember ever having seen the pendant before. In fact, I couldn't remember anything. He seemed to understand. Don't worry, child. A little sleep and you'll be back to your old self again. My head started to swim and I blacked out. When I woke, I was lying in a bed I didn't recognize, in a life I didn't recognize. Around my neck was the pendant from my dream, and in my hand, your business card. I never printed any business cards. You mind if I take a look? By all means. Hmm. Well, that's not normal. So you don't have any idea who you might be? I've learned, or at least I've been told, that my name is Mary Fontoul. My husband, Victor Fontoul, is the president of Island Ventures. We live in a mansion outside of town with our butler, Benny. We've been married for 10 years, and we're very happy together. And you don't believe a word of it? I may have lost my memory, detective, but I haven't lost my intuition. This woman I'm supposed to be, Mary Fontoul, it's not me. And what if you're wrong? Then you'll have made a bit of money, and I'll walk away a confused rich woman. Why not see a doctor? Why come to me? Believe me, I've seen all the best doctors money can buy. The popular opinion is that it's stress. Well, I'm not one to knock the other guy's merchandise. But you could have saved some time coming here first. You said the old man gave you a pendant. Do you have it with you? Yes, here. If it helps the investigation, please keep it. The investigation? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I still need more information before I agree to take the case. Let's say I am interested. Do you remember how to use a checkbook? I can offer you a $200 advance and another $200 on completion plus expenses. Money is not an issue. Can you help me out? Or do I need to find someone else? Well, all right, sweetheart. For that kind of cabbage, I'd voodoo investigate most anything. Consider me hired. Thank you, detective. I don't mind telling you that comes as a relief to me. Here's the money. I have a good feeling about you. Save your feelings for book club, honey. You know, you better keep that shirt buttoned, detective. I wouldn't want your big old heart falling out. I'll be careful, voodoo doll face. How can I get in touch if I need to talk with you about the case? If you need me, I'm staying at the Chic Shell Hotel. Please come see me if you make any progress. Oh, and detective. Yes? Don't call me voodoo doll face. What a knockout. A dame like that could give a zombie a heart attack, or a voodoo detective a real headache. I better mail my personal ad and then go get my book of voodoo back from Billy. 